And that, uh, if I can get my bloggy set up right, uh, is the start of the Zaldan wig. It's going to be a dude, uh, lace front from Art of Wigs. I actually know all the people who own the shop, so I go to their stuff. They're usually really good quality. This one uh, we're looking at is a lace front just for the sake of the bangs and then I'm going to put uh, wool roving dreads or start to work into them in the actual hair. Um, and right now I'm just taking a look. Like You can actually see on like the lace fronts their fibers are knotted in to the actual la the hairline so you actually have the start of something that's looking coming from the scalp. Um, they're a little bit more expensive. This one was $65. Uh, human hair lace fronts, I think, go up in like the 200 range. So it's a really good quality wig for that type of price. Um, this is my first experiment with uh, doing any sort of dreadlocks. I've looked up a couple of tutorials. So this is really going to be an experimental video. And I apologize for the quality of the vids to come because I don't exactly have a good setup where I can get everything filmed. Uh, but I'm going to get the basic steps, hopefully, on camera, and we'll go from there. Thanks. Okay, setting up on a different camera now, because I actually got all the images off of this, so I can actually get some decent load times. Um, first step you want to do with any wig is actually just divide up the hair. That way you're working evenly and you know exactly how much you have and how much leftover you have to spare. Um, right now I'm leaving all this uh, for the bottom of the hair. That way, if I need be, I can take this out to bottom dreadlocks, and I'm going to worry about that once it's on Maverick's head because this has to come up to a high ponytail. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is going to be working on the stuff that's going to be framing the base of his head and then we're going to put more wool roving uh, dreadlocks starting to the front and working in between each of these um, and maybe trying to work uh, some uh, with the stuff that I have left over to tie it into the wig. Um, uh, what I found as far as tutorials, I'm going to use the not tutorial, I believe what you do is uh, back comb the hair, split it apart uh, so it's nice and fluffy, and then tie it in a knot so you get nice tiny dreads that, are, that aren't that are going to fall apart on you. Um, this is what the hair looks like uh, on itself when it's not combed out. Um, and then basically what you just want to do is tie it off, pin it up, uh, so it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to start with the top knot and work my way down. Uh, that way, if I miss any strands, I can work it into the separate ones and we'll go from there. Um, we're working with one, two, three, four, five, six dreadlocks. I think the, the total he has on each of his side is eight, so we'll have more than enough spares to work with. All right. <laughs> Liked it better that way. So, take me back to Constantinople. No, you can't go back to Constantinople. Been a long time gone. Constantinople, why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. Istanbul. Istanbul. Once New Amsterdam Why they changed it I can't say You just liked it better that way Istanbul is Constantinople Now it's Istanbul and Constantinople Then we gone Constantinople Why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business about the Turks
Constantinople. No, you can't go back to Constantinople. Been a long time gone. Constantinople, why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. Istanbul. Okay, so while my cat is being a pest, this is probably going to take a really long time. But right now we have the start of two rows here. Um, probably... Hi, Gax. Say hi. Now that we pester the kitten, he just wants to go outside because my mom has the screen door open. Alright, but we got the start of two dreads here. Um, it's going to get really more impressive when I actually get to the wool robbing, but we have just the start of it. And basically at this point, I'm just making the rows and working more hair in. Uh, we're already at 16 minutes worth of filming. I'm going to speed this up so it's not as boring. Um, basically the process that you take, I'm going to do this on the free strand, is you backcomb it so it gets nice and knotted, split the hair in half, and then make a hole, fit that through, and knot it. And it's basically just braiding the hair again and again. Um, and once I get some, probably going to work some gel into these to get make sure they're nice and tight, and then carve them down. And so they're nice and glued together, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six to do. Uh, Fifteen minutes worth of work. Uh, we can do this. All right. I'll show you in a bit. Okay, if I can stop shaking the camera. At this point, I'm kind of ending up making cornrows rather than dreadlocks just because it's the same process, just knotting the hair, but as you're adding more hair, it's taking to the shape of the scalp. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and then six up top. And I got a little bit more left over. I'm going to make probably two more just to finish off the ear and work on the other side of the head. But yeah, I mean, you get some really nice differentiation along the side of just a more realistic look. And then once everything's going to, once I get Maverick over, um, he's got a bigger head than me. Uh, I'm going to shape this to his head, work it around the base just so I can get a start of a ponytail. And we're going to get more wool robbing work that in and then I'm gonna get a couple little bit of extra pieces uh, and probably just sew them into the base of the wig just so I get some more rows going um, and then like Zaldan's got pieces coming down like into his forehead of just where the things come and then basically the bangs are gonna be on both sides of his face and we'll go from there yeah it's looking really good right now yay experimentation it happens. You'll learn. Um, first time doing any sort of dreadlock or uh, cornrow work, and I mean, it's a little bit messy, but I think once I actually get the wool roving in this, it'll start to look really nice. Alright. Woohoo!